Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Safari not opening the web pages. So if you're trying to open the web pages on Safari browser and you are facing this type of problem, Safari cannot open the page because too many redirects occurred and any other problem, then in this video, I will show you the possible solution through which you can fix this problem. So now let's get started how you can fix this problem. First of all, you will have to close this tab. Then after that, open setting of your iPhone device. And then here, first of all, you will have to make sure that you are using a strong internet connection. If you are using Wi-Fi, then you will have to disconnect with Wi-Fi and reconnect it again. And if you are using mobile data, then you will have to turn off your mobile data and turn it on again. Then after that, you will have to close this tab. Then here you will have to open App Store. Then in search bar, you will have to search for Safari Browser. And here and from here you will have to update Safari Browser to the latest version. Then after updating it, you will have to again close this. Then open setting of your iPhone device. Then you will have to scroll it below. So here you will need to tap on Safari Browser. Then after that, here you will need to scroll it below. Then here you will have to tap on clear history and website data. After that, here you will have to tap on close all tabs. And then after that, tap on clear history. Then after that, you will need to again scroll it below. Then tap on advanced. Then tap on website data. And after that, you will have to delete all browsing website data from here. Then after that, again you will have to go back. Then you will have to turn off the search engine suggestion from here and turn off the Safari suggestions. And after that, here you will have to turn on the quick website search. And then here you will have to turn on the blog pop-ups from here. Then after that, here you will have to tap on allow website tenting and turn it on from here. Then you will have to go back. Then after that, check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having still this problem, then you will have to again open setting, then tap on general, then tap on iPhone storage. And from here, you will have to review your data from here and you will have to uninstall the apps which are useless and which you don't use often. And after that, you will have to open the apps and you will have to offload the apps from here. Then after that, check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having still this problem, then you will have to tab on general then tap on date and time and from here you will have to make sure that your iPhone date and time is correct and set automatically is turned on from here then after that go back then tap on VPN and device management and from here you will have to make sure that you are not connected with VPN if you're connected with VPN then you will have to disconnect with that and try again later if you're having still this problem then you'll have to tap on transfer or reset then tap on reset and then here you'll have to tap on reset network setting after that you will have to put your iPhone passcode and after that hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to use the Safari browser smoothly so that's it from this video hopefully you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos thank you very much for watching this video